But sir, we back with another little market review and kind of like a 2024 mentorship review. Just because ICT started doing a mentorship and it's kind of crazy because I am his son. I'm his son. Nah, I'm playing. I'm not actually his son, but can you imagine? He's calling like his son Caleb in the live stream. I'm like, bro, he's literally talking to me. Literally talk That's kind of wild. But none of the chit chat. Let's get kind of into it. I'm going to just do market reviews and also mentorship uh, reviews. Uh, got note, note, note notes up in this. In this, we're, we're not playing around when it comes to this uh, mentorship. Really, I would. I, I just want to be an inspiration. Uh, my inspiration is ICT student on Twitter. I don't really. I I've taken a break from social media. That's why I haven't been posting. I haven't been like logging on social media media at all. And honestly, my mental health has gone up so much within the past week. I decided to just hey. May I'm getting a little burnt out, so I decided to take a little break from social media and kind of just relax, calm down, and it, it's helped. It's been helping me a lot, and so these, these are all the notes that I've taken. I might drop my notes of the mentorship in the comments or something, but I really like that's not going to help anyone at all. I th I think you're going to find the best if you take your own notes, and if we if we just um, go over kind of what has been uh, brought up. It, uh, in the sum of things, I would definitely recommend watching it and uh, paying attention. But basically, from 7, 8, and 9 o'clock, these are the important times we want to look for. And f from 7 onward, we want to see relative equal highs or relative equal lows get generated. And then we want to see a jagged edge get made or a high resistance signature. That's kind of what I call it, a high resistance signature. As we see, we have equal highs. Boom, we take these highs. And as we see, we have a nice wick here. And then we end up having this displacement like... And uh, what ICT went over is that if we have an inversion within a breaker, this inversion is going to be the the most important premium array, even over the breaker. So ICT doesn't really, he always looks for an imbalance within this leg of price, look for that to be inversion level. We're going to back test that going within a couple of weeks and, and uh, price action as well. So we see we have a breaker and this inversion that is respected here. We have a one, two, three drive. We also have an SMT here with ES. We end up filling this premium. Uh, we end up filling the SIBI right here as well, including this volume imbalance here. This is all was went over during the live stream. We also have a new day opening gap here. We end up seeing uh, displacement. We have a 2022 model, buy side taken, shift to market structure here, fair value gap right there, 2022 model. Then we have displacing lower. We have a nice displacement leg. This is nine o'clock. What are we doing? We're consolidating. We're generating liquidity. Another e equal smooth highs. And also the reason why I'm just gonna incorporate this with the 2024 is just to kind of keep me um, keep keep me accountable and kind of just post my notes, my analysis. It's just gonna be a market review, but. I'm mainly following along with the mentorship. So as we see, we have relative equal highs. We come up, make these highs jagged here. This this is a false move here. This is a false 2022 model. 930 starts here. 930, we get displacement up. 930, we actually have the Judas swing. So we have a false little false move lower here. Then a move higher. Come up, we take this high here. We also reprice to it. I, I uh, removed it from my chart. Reprice to constant encroachment of this, of this gap. If we look at, if you look at constant encroachment of that gap, and then we also have um, this dealing range high to dealing range low. That's the 2022 model. Buy side taken, shift to market structure imbalance right there, and it's also in this old sell side imbalance right there, and also it is right at equilibrium of this dealing range high to dealing range low. Where what are what is this a market maker sell model here? If we swing grade this from high to low, come back up. We end up having a deep retracement. We have a stop on around fifty percent, and we end up displacing lower. Also, constant encroachment of that wick gets respected here, and then pretty much gets respected there. And then we come back down. London low is a draw on liquidity. We end up taking London low here. And this said when we end up forming a 2022 model, shift to market structure and balance right here. Displacement leg here, short term high, gets broken there, and then we have immediate, immediate displacement. If I'm looking at this, maybe I don't have crazy confidence. What I like to see and what I like to look for personally is to see a 15 minute change of steady delivery. Once we have a 15, I know, sorry, there's a lot of annotations. Once we have a 15 minute change of state delivery, we have one right here. This gets closed over. 
order block here. We have a 15 minute change of state delivery. Even a five minute change of state delivery, higher prices are more likely once that happens. So it's pretty much the same level, or it is the same level here. You have that change of state delivery. Look at that five minute order block. It's respected right there perfectly. And we have coming into this market maker buy model. So this was pretty textbook today. We had a market maker sell model in the AM, and then we had a 930 Judas. This place went lower, and then we had a market maker buy model running into the the 10 a.m. hour. So as we can see here, we have 950 macro, displacement higher, spooling higher. Use this SIBI here, and then notice this equilibrium level between this high to this low right there. Boom, perfect. We have a stop button. We have equal highs generated here. Then we have an immediate rebalance. So in the mentorship, he was talking about immediate rebalance. I'm sure he's gonna go over this tomorrow, but he was talking he was referring to this level when this was the immediate rebalance level in the 15 second. I actually don't have access to the 15 second time frame. I might uh, purchase it honestly, but we have this immediate rebalance right here and we end up having a nice run to buy side. Even here, look at this, right here. Uh, six, six, 60, 60 handles, 60 handles right there, 60 handles. We have come down, we have a stop punt and then we have a fair value gap higher this gets left as a breakaway as outlined as he outlined and we come up and then we actually take buy side here but we have these equal highs all up within here and then we have this new week opening gap that's drawing liquidity we have creating smooth edges again smooth edges this is a drop down to where there's probably a five minute balance here i i wasn't i'm not really going to pay attention too much to the pm session to be honest I'm more looking for this uh, to, to 11 a.m. But in terms of the market review, we're just going to keep on going here. We have a five-minute order block here. We just swept this low here. Institutional order flow. We come down. We drop down. We get a four-minute order block here. Change of state delivery right there. Now on the one minute, we have a drop lower. Inversion. Fair value gap right here. Sell side taken, um, not really a 2022 model here. And then we end up seeking uh, these equal highs here. And then this new week opening gap, we kind of consolidate within this new week opening gap. And then we have a sell off. This is the 130 opening price. I know there's no annotation on it. But we see manipulation above 130 opening. We end up taking these highs here. And honestly, I don't really have too much explanation for this egregious of a sell off other than Markets have been pretty bearish recently. I haven't been as in tune with the markets recently. I'm not going to lie. I haven't been on the charts as much recently. And honestly, like if I'm looking at this, did I really miss much? I don't really think so. I don't really think so. But I, if, if we're looking at this on the daily chart, we've just had it. I haven't been doing market reviews because I haven't been as active. But if we, we've had this huge uh, displacement lower. And now I think we're kind of prone to consolidation, but we'll we'll see uh, what overnight session is doing. It looks like we're drawing higher to maybe have a sell model maybe again, but that comes uh, in with time. Here we have a 2022 buy side taken, shift to market structure. We don't actually return into premium though, so it probably wouldn't have been something to enter off of. And then this is all occurring within the three the the final hour. I didn't really annotate this. That's the final hour macro. Then we have the 350 macro. Just straight displacement. Not really much here, to be honest. Not not really much that I would uh, kind of expect and anticipate. We end up having a sell model to this low here. And into that previous new, week, new day opening gap right there. So yeah, that, that was kind of the day that we had. And it, there, there's not much that I really want to go over in the uh, mentorship, a lot, of, a lot of psychology stuff. And that's the kind of the reason, like this is why I like ACT because he, he talks about stuff that's like actually relevant if you, if you listen, that's just my personal opinion. And if you don't, if you can if you don't find something of value, then I would say just don't watch it. Oh, also uh, fib projections. He also, he, he messed up with the fib projections as well. Um, I'm probably gonna, start doing these but every hour you have the one hour power three pretty much so we can put uh fib projections from the high 
to uh, that low that starts at 7, 7 a.m. By the way, y'all, th these are just my interpretations. This, this is just my interpretations of the mentorship. I'm kind of just doing this to kind of document my experience with the mentorship. Um, I am a student. I'm developing a student. I'm not trying to act like I'm uh, a mentor or a guru. I'm really just vibing, you know, and kind of just making these videos for myself. So, therefore, I'm not going to try to edit them. I'm not going to try to have some, like, crazy thumbnail. I, I, re I really don't care. So, as we see, negative 5.5 gets respected here on this hour power of 3 right there. And then we have the last hour power of 3 here. This highest high here. And then this uh, low here at that 8, 8 a.m. Kind of, uh, not, not really uh, much here for standard deviation. That's very accurate but as we see we do have co kind of confluence of these levels standard deviation i don't really uh i don't really think it's as important to be honest as pure price action but it's just another confluence to kind of uh suggest but overall we, we this was this was a pretty pretty nice day I, I like today today was pretty nice price action and man it's it's kind of it, it's 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 wonderful bro like i'm not glazy or anything but ICT is back with a mentorship, R real real time mentorship. I'm gonna be dialed in and on that. I was doing my back testing every day, but honestly, bro, I feel like I'm just I'm just gonna go with the 2024 mentorship. And uh, I might live stream like while I'm watching it, but I don't really think it's as important to be honest. Like I don't want to be like a slate like a like a sex slave in front of the chart. Like no, that's that's not what I'm trying to do. So we we had. Uh, Reversal here, reversal here. We had a Judas swing here. We had some opportunity here. And we had some lower time for action here. We also had action here. Like like price action has been very nice to be honest. Very nice, very nice. Um, anything else that I kind of want to just go over? I thought was uh, pretty cool within the mentorship. Honestly, uh, no nothing crazy. Nothing crazy except the in the inversion for value gap was the was the best thing was the best like teaching point in my opinion uh, but just more clarity within the within these times 7 to 7 30 we want to see a judo swing 8 to 8 30 we want to see a judo swing 9 to 9 30 we also want to see um a judo swing these times don't have to be exact but we want to see the judo happen in the first half of the new hour so that's kind of where we want to see the judo swing um there's many t opportunities within a day i don't need to see the full daily, daily range i just need a small fillet in the middle of that move Yeah, and uh, price continuing theory, um, you just pretty much the algorithm will continuously um, provide opportunity. Continue will provide continuous opportunity to be a participant because the markets are fractal. Once one time frame has used up all the entries, a lower time frame will have an entry. Pretty much like if you miss an entry on a higher time frame, you can drop down to a lower time frame and get a close proximity entry to get another entry offered. And a lot of psychology that I thought was important and I journaled and then also uh, something on journaling. Just be a coach for yourself and show, show yourself love within the charts. I didn't go over yesterday. I'm going to have that. Um, I'm not going to be lacking much. I'm, I'm going to add yesterday and I'm going to keep on going with this. And yeah, I don't know how long he's going to do this. Hopefully he does it like every day. I don't know. He seems pretty fired up about it, but... Yeah, that's 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 what I've been doing, um, and yeah, that's all I got for this little mentorship review. My interpretation on the mentorship, anyways. Thank you, ICT. Hopefully, you all have a good rest of your day. Peace out.